Okay, so for this video, what I'm going to be doing is working on this particular pen. Um, this is the Parker Victory button filler fountain pen. And when you're actually polishing a pen, the first thing that you need to do, if it's if it's at all possible or you're competent enough, is to actually disassemble the pen. Now, what I've actually done, I've already disassembled this one and cleaned it to an extent, so if you need to know how to do that, there's other videos that I've done that actually show you how to do that. So, um, what I've done in effect is I've sort of pre-prepared pre this particular pen. So, what we need to do is, as I say, try and take, well, disassemble it. So, what we do is just take out the the feed and the nib. Um, as I say, I've already done it, so the section on this particular pen comes off quite easily and then inside we've got the the pressure bar and what we need to do again if at all possible is take the clip off on this one again I've already pre-prepared it so um, the cap stud just simply unscrews like so and we'll pop that to one side so in effect, the main thing that we're polishing is the barrel and the cap. Um, at this point, the blind cap to the bottom of this particular pen, we can actually leave on, just for, um, as far as polishing purposes are concerned. So, we've took it apart, and what we've got is the pen and the barrel um, ready for polishing. Now, this, this applies to lots of pens, or most pens, but obviously they differ slightly, so I can't show you them all, but hopefully this particular guide will just give you an idea. Now, when we actually come to polishing, you've got things like cap bands, and on some pens, like this particular one, this is a Waterman Commando pen, you can see this one's actually a lever pen so you've got lots of different trim that need to be masked because if you actually begin to polish and you know you polish over the trim some um, some pens the plate is actually quite quite thin and if you begin to polish over this plate you will actually remove the gold plate and actually well well you, you could actually ruin the pen so what we need to do I actually use masking tape and again what I've actually done is I've, I've pre-cut some some pieces sorry not masking tape this is actually um, electrical insulating tape and in effect all we need to do is just simply cover any trim that may may get ruined when we begin to polish polish the pen so what I've done there is applied the insulating tape I've covered the the cap bands like so what we also need to do as you can see on this particular pen the imprint is nice and clear and if we actually begin to polish we may actually polish out the imprint on the pen so again what we need to do is cover that and again I've cut out a little piece of the insulating tape and again a little bit difficult working over the camera but there we go okay so put that over the imprint so what we've done we've covered the imprint we've covered the cap bands like so now as I say all pens are different so if you can't dismantle it you've got to cover the clip to the pen as we've just done cover the cap bands and in this particular case because it's a lever a lever pen what you need to do is cover the lever as well as I say especially when the likes of these particular pens the Watermans and some and some Burnham pens if you start polishing and you polish the trim the plate is very thin and you will ruin it and you'll you'll basically you'll rub out the plate on the trim and it'll look terrible and to some extent you will ruin the pen so be very careful and cover all the trim as I said the lever as well 
So, in this particular case, we're ready to begin polishing. Um, as I said earlier, all pens are different, depends on the condition, um, depends on the pen. They all actually, well, my particular case, I use different methods for different pens. So, what I'm trying to do is keep it uh, pretty basic, if you like. What you can also do, um, if you're not sort of a you know proficient enough or whatever you can cover the um the threads as well um but in my case i don't go as far as the thread just be a bit careful now at this point i begin with these things here now this is what we term as micro mesh and it's it's like a cloth and it's it's a sandpaper but on a cloth and each particular one if we start from the roughest one is well this particular one is 1500 and if we pick one of the middle ones you've got 3200 and if I go to the very finest it's actually well, it's not 1200 it's actually tw <coughs> excuse me it's actually 12,000 so we go from the roughest one this one down to the finest one and what we simply do says here i've actually started this particular pen with it with the the 1500 if you like so what i'm going to do i'm going to skip straight through to the 2400 and what we need to do is nice and simply begin on polishing and again the pressure you don't need a lot of pressure um, what you'll do is as you do a lot of these you'll find that you'll get used to how much pressure you need to use and all I'm doing as I'm rubbing it I'm turning the cap slowly so we cover the whole area and again as I said before people will say well how much pressure do you use it's well it's difficult to say it's just as you actually do these particular pens you get used to it and you know how much pressure to apply so that'll be enough for the for the cap again on the barrel exactly the same procedure what I like to do is work in sort of round round motions if you like in a round sort of pattern and at this point you don't have to worry about going over the the tape there because that'll protect it and that'll protect the the imprint on the barrel as well in this particular case this pen um, when I first started when what happens is when the when the cap is actually screwed onto the barrel you'll get like a wear wear marks around this particular area here and you can see well there's a little bit still there but what I've actually done with the roughest bit I've taken most of it out and as I actually work with the different grades of micro mesh what you'll find is eventually them marks will actually be removed and also any marks any micro uh, micro scratches will also be removed as well and again in this particular area where it was worn slightly what I do again very carefully in a round circular motion I'll work a little bit more on that particular area okay and again let's go through the whole barrel so the whole area is equal and again you put in the same amount of pressure on the whole pen okay so that was our 2400 let's get the next one we've got 1800 and again the same thing applies we work on the cap in a rounded motion or a circular motion if you like like so now this particular <laughs> this process is very boring to do but the result in the end will actually speak for itself so again what I've done I've come down one particular grade if you like of the micro mesh 
and all I'm doing as before just this circular motion applying a little bit of pressure pressure to the uh, to the micro mesh and again what I actually do is just concentrate a little bit on that particular area near the thread where it was actually worn because of the cap okay so and what we'll do we'll actually remove that so that's what we do with the micro mesh and again I won't do it on the video I will now actually start on the 3200 and eventually what we'll do we'll finish on the finest micro mesh which is the 12 1200 and that will eventually give it a little bit of a little bit of a polish so I won't do all the grades on the video what we'll actually do I'll do that off camera and we'll come back and then I'll show you um, the next step or what I actually use after the micro mesh so what we'll do we'll leave it at that and I'll pop back in a moment so um, I've now used all the different grades of the micro mesh I've removed the tape from the imprint and uh, the barrel sorry the cap ring like so as you can see now as you can see the pen actually has quite a shine to it already what we've done is by using the micro mesh we've removed any sort of um, micro scratches etc so it's quite acceptable as it is now but I don't leave it at that what I actually do now is bring on my special potion now this is a um, a polish if you like that I actually use and what you need to do is get yourself a nice clean cloth let's get a bit of this this polish on the end here and just what you may want to do I've actually removed the tape from the uh, the cap rings what you may want to do at this point is actually leave them on because again this particular polish um, is a slight abrasive so it'll still remove any plate on, on gold trim if you like so again be a bit careful in fact I'd actually say at this point um, if you've never done it before leave the tape on until you've actually used um, any polishes on top so what we do with this particular polish is just apply it quite liberally to the barrel and again we begin in circular motions just to rub this particular polish or compound if you like into into the pen and again what actually happens is as you're actually um, polishing the, the barrel you can actually feel it as I say it is an abrasive so be very very careful okay and as you rub it you'll actually see that it's actually getting removed it actually disappears like so and I'll try I want to try and keep this as quick as possible because I don't want the video to go on for for ages and ages so we'll leave it at that and you can see just a little bit of dirt on the on the cloth incidentally I'll just slightly digress I also use this particular compound um, for the for the feed here I mean you can see it's quite clean as it is but I use it just to polish the feed on top like so so we give that a good a good clean and a good rub and what you may want to do as well is clean the feed like so but what you have to do is as you can see we've got remnants of this compound inside the fins and you'll also get it inside the the feed channel which needs to be cleaned otherwise you're going to have problems with the ink flow okay so you must remove any remnants of any polish etc that you actually use between the fins and the ink channel now if you look there you can see sort of the dirt and if this was actually quite a dirty um, feed and it had ink on it obviously it removed the the ink for you as well okay so what I'll do let me just 
polish that for you so you can actually see how it actually looks again it's a little bit difficult working from behind a camera so you'll just have to excuse me on certain things that I'm actually doing it's a little bit difficult okay so we've polished that like so and there you can see it gives it a lovely lustrous lustrous polish like so okay don't forget as I say I reiterate I don't know if you can actually see it but within the fins there you'll have remnants of this particular compound that what I'll actually do I'll clean it I'll clean the channel there as well because if you don't clean it it will affect it will affect the ink flow some of the things that you may want to use to clean between the fins is an old toothbrush and a little tip as well if you actually cut the the bristles halfway down the toothbrush that'll give you a much stiffer stiffer brush so what you could actually do is actually use this one first of all between the fins and also don't forget to clean the ink channel as well make sure that is free from any dirt any polish etc etc okay so what we'll do now is come to the barrel let's just give that a nice polish a nice clean if you can use a nice clean cloth I'm using um, a t-shirt here and um, we'll just give that a good polish like so and you can see now we're beginning to get a nice gloss once again at this particular point you'll see some of the compound um, within within the imprint there so again what we do is use our toothbrushes to remove that we've also got a little air hole to the end there you'll see the compound is inside we will clean that with a needle make sure that's nice and clean as well so at this point what I'll do is I'll go away and do the the cap I'll also do the the section and what I'll also do on this with this particular compound I'll actually clean clean the nib as well with this compound and if there's any remnants of old ink the nice thing about it with it being a slight abrasive it will actually remove any old ink from from the nib but this one's quite clean because it's been ultrasonically cleaned but what we'll do we'll just give it a quick wipe with this compound and what it'll do it'll just clean it slightly and give it a nice polish so once I've finished with this compound we've not finished yet I'll come back and show you my next level if you like right so what we've done now we've we've used the well my special potion the polishing compound I've cleaned the cap and the barrel I've cleaned the or polished if you like the uh, the feed the section the top of the cap if you like the cap stud um, you'll notice let's pop it in again what I've actually done I've cleaned the ink channel I've used a wire brush to get rid of anything in between the fins as well you can see they're nice and clean now okay so at this point you think fine everything looks hunky dory it looks nice but no what I now use is this polish here and it's what we call the semi-chrome okay so I now get my semi-chrome incidentally at this particular point people will say to me where do you buy all these products these cleaning products you know the polish the uh, micro mesh well if you go and speak to my friend here Tony he's a very friendly person very very helpful so go on his site here and he sells all these particular products and he'll help you with any problems that you may have as well great guy so well done Tony right so what we're doing now is as before we put a little bit of semi-chrome on our cloth again at this particular point semi-chrome although it's um, this sort of like toothpaste sort of consistency it is still 
a abrasive if you like although quite fine so again at this point you have to be careful again at this point you may want to leave um, your masking tape on uh, or whatever tape you're using to tape over the barrel imprint or the clip etc because as I say it is a slight ab ab abrasive and it will remove plate etc from from your trim so again you've got to be very careful so what we're doing is giving it a good application we rub it on nicely like so and again to try and keep the video as short as possible I'm not going to do everything on the video but um, we'll do the barrel we'll do the cap um, again we'll give a little bit to the feed underneath there because that'll be showing so just for sort of presentation purposes it doesn't do any harm um, and the pen will look absolutely stunning okay so we'll give that a wipe like so get a nice piece and again you'll see from the cloth you can see a little bit of dirt etc um, coming from these particular parts Let's just give that a bit of a polish for you, just to show you the results. It comes up absolutely lovely, and once it actually all back in the pen, the pen actually looks stunning. Okay, so there you go, look how nice and shiny that looks. Again, off camera, even though it looks quite clean, I always make sure, once again, clean between the fins, clean the channel, etc. Always do that. And if we come to the barrel here, let's give that a polish as well. Always a little bit difficult working over the camera. And again, what I'm trying to do, because I think it's gone on quite long this particular video, but hopefully it's uh, helpful to you people. So I'll just do, leave it at that. So you can see now we're begin beginning to get a nice gloss, or well, we've got a lovely gloss to the pen there you go and don't forget once again after each application although the imprint looks nice and clean I'll use my toothbrush or whatever brush you'd like to use don't use a wire brush because you'll scratch uh, scratch the barrel again fat right at the end I've not finished yet but things like the air hole there uh, I'll make sure that's nice and clean and make sure everything's nice and clean inside the uh, inside this section there we'll use um, my little wire brush like so make sure there's uh, no polishes or anything left in there we also clean all the the threads etc and we also clean um, we also clean the nib as well what I've done I've actually polished the, the nib with my compound and again if we actually get the, just bear with me a second, oh, I don't know what I've done with it, there we go, so what I can actually do, actually I'm a bit unprepared at this particular point, but what you can actually do, if you clean your nib for any reason you're using these compounds etc, get yourself some brass shim and then apply the brass shim between the tines like so okay because if there's any dirt or any polish that's in between the tines there that'll also affect the flow of ink so what I'd actually do is just a couple of times just floss says he if I can see over the there we go okay again we'll show you that so all we're doing is just flossing between between the tines and make sure that's nice and clean as well. So what we're going to do, apply some semi-chrome to everything, give it a polish and I'll be back in a minute. So we've applied the semi-chrome polish and polished it all off. As you can see, it's got a lovely gloss to it now. Everything's looking lovely. So we've applied semi-chrome to the barrel, the cap, the section, a little bit on the... Uh, on the feed, we've polished the nib as well 
the nib's nice and clean now that's ready um, ready to be installed now okay at this point I've not even finished there's one more step that I actually I actually do to my pens and what we do we apply Renaissance wax now again we get a clean cloth we apply a little bit of Renaissance wax onto the cloth and what we do we simply rub the wax again I use circular motions onto the uh, onto the cap and also onto the barrel except in fact in this particular point what I actually do I just simply do the um, the barrel the cap and the section with this Renaissance wax nothing else okay um, at this point if you still got the uh, the tape on the trim etc you can remove that because the uh, Renaissance wax will actually protect um, any gold trim that you may have so there we go so we use it on all the pieces and what you actually do with Renaissance wax just put it down to one side um, and let it dry a little bit and while we're waiting for that to dry um, what I'll actually do at this point is get a jeweler's cloth and polish um, polish the clip so let's give that a wipe okay it doesn't need a lot just a nice little wipe with a um, jeweler's cloth with a bit of uh, jeweler's rouge on it so that'll do nicely and again we can get a clean cloth and just simply polish that up like so so you can see the clip now is looking absolutely beautiful nice and shiny and what we can do at this point is get a little bit of this Renaissance wax and actually polish the uh, polish the clip with the wax and what that'll do that'll sort of help just to protect it a little bit as well it'll polish it up and protect as well so we'll put that to one side let that dry let's come back to the to the cap and let's just give that a polish okay so as I say at this particular point the last step I use this Renaissance wax um, and again I only apply it to the cap the barrel and the section not on the feed or on the nib because if you block the channels etc um, you'll have problems okay so we've given that a polish so what I'll do as before I'll go and finish everything else and at this point now we polish it with the Renaissance wax give it a good polish and what I'm going to do is actually put a new sack on this particular pen assemble it all and then what I'll do I'll come back and show you the, the final pen finished so I hope it's been helpful so next time we'll come back we'll show you the pen fully polished clean don't forget again to reiterate once you've done all these um, processes or steps polish all the thread uh, clean all the threads clean between the fins here clean the channel on the feed and clean everything after each step and then what you'll find is you won't have problems when you've assembled the pen so what we'll do we'll come back when the pen's fully assembled and working and we'll show it to you then so I'll just see you for now bye bye and here we have it here's the final final result so what we've done now we've assembled the pen we've put a new sack inside and after the polishing as you can see it's now an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen um, if we show you the the imprint there you can see we've still got a lovely clear imprint everything is lovely lovely and glossy okay as I said before don't forget you've got air holes in the cap there which get clogged up as you polish we've also got an air hole uh, just to the end there which after we finish polishing etc we made sure we clean them holes as well so if we take the cap off like so and show you the pen give you all different kind of angles 
Let's show you the nib. You can see it's got a lovely um, Parker New Haven nib, which we've also polished. And as we showed you earlier, if you look at the feed, you can see the feed there is lovely and clean and polished as well. Okay, um, as I said earlier, this particular pen is a Parker Victory, it's a button filler. Um, as I said, just put a new sack in it, so it's as good time as any to test it. Okay, I hope you could hear them, them bubbling, bubbling noises, which tells us that so far everything is fine. And if we bring on the the pad, so keep our fingers crossed, and what we have is a Parker. As we said, this particular one is the the victory it's writing with well, I'd say a fine to a medium line a little bit on the scratchy side so what I may do is just slightly smooth the nib just to get rid of that scratchiness okay so there's a writing sample, let's pop the cap back on again and again let's just give you a little view of the pen, give you all different angles okay everything was masked off as I showed you so the trim the clip there there's no loss of plate to it it's as it's well it's as good as new as it came out of the factory so all in all a beautiful pen now we have nice and glossy it's been fully polished as we've shown you so I hope this video has helped you a little bit with regards to polishing pens as I said to you or as I say on all videos there's plenty more videos on my channel go and have a look um, but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now <laughs>